Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 version 21 H2 or November 2021 update. A clean installation is just a way to delete everything on the computer and installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. This will not only help to avoid upgrade problems, but you will be starting with a clean installation which can improve system performance and fix existing issues. If you're going to use this option, it is always recommended to create a full backup of your computer before proceeding. You can check the video description to find a link to the video with the steps to do a full backup of your computer and additional information such as release date for this update and more. In this tutorial, I'll be using the media creation tool to create a USB bootable media to install the Windows 10 version 21H2. Okay, so to upgrade your computer using a clean installation of Windows 10, 21H2, use these steps. First, you need to download the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website. Under the Create Windows 10 Installation Media, click the Download Tool Now button. Once you downloaded the file, just simply double click it to launch the setup. You can find the link to this page in the video description below. Just remember, if you download the tool before the November 2021 update is available, you won't be able to install the new version. It will only install the current version at that time. Click the Set button. And now select the Create Installation Media for another PC and click the Next button. You should be using the recommended settings, but if you're trying to install this version of Windows on another machine that requires different language architecture in addition you can uncheck this option and select the architecture in addition you can select only windows 10 and here you can select the language that you want to use but usually you just want to use the recommended settings and then click next here select the usb flash drive option and make sure to connect a usb media with at least 8 gigabytes of storage and anything on that particular drive is going to be deleted. So if you have important files, it is recommended to back them up before proceeding. Once you selected the option, click Next. Then select the removable drive from the list. If it is not available, click the Refresh List option. And then click Next. Now the uh, media creation tool will proceed to download the files and create a bootable media of Windows 10 21H2. Once the uh, media has been created, click the Finish button and keep the USB drive connected to the computer and then reboot the device. Also, you have to make sure that your PC can start from USB. Usually, to boot your computer from USB, you need to change the BIOS settings, which is pretty much different on every computer, so make sure to check your device manufacturer support website for more details. Typically, you can access these settings by pressing one of the functions, delete or escape keys during boot. After restarting the computer with the USB flash drive in the Windows Setup page, click the Next button. Now click the Install Now button. If Windows 10 was already installed and properly activated, you don't need to enter a product key. After the installation, Windows will reactivate automatically. So to continue, click the I don't have a product key option. If you get this option, select the version of Windows that you want to install, and this has to match the product key that you have, and then click Next. Check this option and click Next to accept the license terms. Since we'll be doing a clean installation, select the Custom Install Windows Only Advanced option. And here we're going to delete all the partitions to create a single large unallocated space. If you have more than one drive, you only need to delete the partitions on the primary drive. On the uh, secondary drives that have data, it is not necessary to delete the partitions. Once you deleted all the partitions from the primary drive, select the drive zero unallocated space and click next to begin the clean installation of Windows 10 21H2.
And now we're going to complete the setup by selecting the preference and creating a new account. In here, select your region and then click yes. Now select your keyboard layout and click yes. If you need a second keyboard layout, just click the add layout button, but usually you just wanna skip this option. Remember that if you have a wireless connection, you will need to provide the credentials to connect to the network. If you're using Windows 10 Pro, select the Setup for Personal Use option. If you have Windows 10 Home, you're not going to see this option. And then click Next. Now we're going to create an account. Make sure to provide your Microsoft account and then click Next. I have connected my account with the Microsoft Authenticator, so that's the way that I'm going to authenticate. Click the uh, Create Pin button and let's go into create a pin so you don't have to use your password and then click OK. Now you can choose your privacy settings. Everything is on by default, but you can turn them off those settings that you don't want. And when you turn them off, you will see what's going to happen if you disable that option and then click that set button. Here Windows 10 also lets you customize the experience so you can get personalized ads and other tool suggestions, but you can always skip this option. This is not important. You can always connect your phone later. So I'm going to click the not thanks option. On Windows 10, you can choose to back up your files to OneDrive or you can keep them on your computer. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to select the only save files to this PC option. During the initial setup, you're also given the option to get a free trial of Microsoft 365, but that's also not important. So here, click the decline button. We're not gonna use Cortana, so if you want to, you can click the set button, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to skip it. So I'm gonna click the no button. And that's it, we have successfully upgraded to Windows 10 version 21 H2 or November 2021 update. And you can check by opening settings and then going to system and on the about page under Windows specifications, you can see that the current version is 21 H2. Also while in the settings app, you also want to go to Windows update and make sure to download any available updates. Furthermore, you want to open device manager to make sure that you don't have any missing drivers. If you get any red or yellow notification, make sure to check your manufacturer support website to download the missing drivers and any other software that you need to install on the computer. Also remember to restore your files from backup as necessary. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.